to Vlogmas Day 8. As you can probably tell, I am at Epcot. We are here at the Italy Pavilion and I thought this would be a good place to just do a quick wander today for the video. And I think I said in the last one, some of these videos might go up a little bit sporadically over the next few days because I'm travelling home and then we're going to Vegas. There's all kind of craziness going on. But let's take a look around this pavilion. This is one of my absolute favourites because Italy is somewhere unbelievably that I still haven't visited considering it's not that far. Um, from where I live in terms of flight times and stuff but I really want to go and I think Lisa and I are probably going to take a trip there hopefully next year so that will be absolutely amazing and this is early in the day so it's not very crowded I think it's about 11.30 and the World Showcase opens at 11 so this is a perfect time to come along. Morning! Hi! And this is a place to come and get alcohol but I did already have a mimosa with breakfast and I don't want to get too buzzed, so we don't want to go in there. Let's move on from that. Oh, I think this store is adjoining, actually. I should have just gone all the way through. Let's check this out. The downside of coming early in the morning and vlogging is that cast members just see you talking to yourself constantly and probably think you're crazy, but never mind. So this seems to be mainly apparel and some like homeware stuff, mugs and things like that. I'm not going to show you too much of the shopping because I feel like a lot of vlogmas so far has been me showing you merchandise and things. So let's move on. And this is one of my favourite pavilions for dining because I love Via Napoli. We were supposed to do it the other night, but again, we were just too, it was actually last night, we were too exhausted. So we did give that a miss. Unfortunately, we got pizza from the boardwalk pizza window instead but sometimes you just have to give yourself a break because we've been pretty exhausted this trip but it's been amazing, I'm definitely not complaining. But this is so pretty and I love the World Showcase, the way they have trees around, you really can't see anything else so you can kind of lose yourself in the pavilion you're in. So this is Via Napoli at the end here. Let's just go and see the menu. I think the, there used to be a pizza window over here. Maybe it's just closed. I'm not sure. I think it's just closed at the moment. So basically they have pasta, pizza. I would recommend the pizza. If there's two of you, get a large and share it. That's the best way. And these seats out here, there's limited seating outside. And on the other side of this hedge, they have seats for two. And that is always where I request. It's one of the few times I like eating outside, but you can sit here and then I'll just show you the view. And you can just look at all of this, which is amazing. And this is the wine cellar Tutto Gusto. And you can go in there to get kind of small plate appetizer type things and wine flights. And it's a lovely place to go in and cool down if it's warm, which by the way, it is. Again, Orlando can't make up its mind with the weather at the minute. And then you have Tutto Italia, which is another restaurant. And I haven't eaten here for a while because I just love Via Napoli so much. I tend to overlook Tutto Italia, but perhaps next time I will give it a go. And the food at the restaurant here, there's more kind of pasta dishes. They don't do pizza. Um, I think you can get paninis and things at lunchtime, but they also have, um, I think, some fish dishes and steak and things like that. So Via Napoli is very much, I would say, pizza-based, but they do have a few other dishes for people who don't like pizza. But if you don't like pizza, please um, see a therapist because it's the best food ever. Anyway, we are gonna go into this store which has perfume in one section and apparel in the other. And they do actually have some nice things in here sometimes. So they have some quite unique shirts. This is really nice. Do you like that? And of course they have these little guys. And a little puppet. Again, I'm not gonna dwell on merchandise because you've seen a lot of that, but this is the perfume store which is decorated very nicely for Christmas. And they also have jewellery and handbags and things like that in here. But this is a really pretty store. And it smells very nice as well. And this is lovely. 
$35. If I had room in my luggage, which I absolutely do not, then <laughs> I'd be very tempted by that. On the subject of luggage, we um, <laughs> did our best to get the luggage to the right weight. Unfortunately, one of our cases was over by two kilos and the others were right on the nose. So I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do about that. We will have to see. Uh, <laughs> It was very difficult. We had to throw away a lot of our toiletries and stuff in order to get our purchases in, but obviously they're more important than toiletries. But next time, I think we need to be a bit smarter about our packing in the first place because my case was pretty much on the way when we left to come here. So that was not good planning on my part. Anyway, I'm gonna go and see Kate and then we will move on. One hour later. So I'm gonna finish this vlogmas video in the Mexico pavilion. We've now gone most of the way around and this is my favorite pavilion. So I thought this would be the perfect ending to this vlogmas episode. And at Christmas, they have the lights up in here as well, which just makes it even more amazing than it already is, if that's possible. I love how Disney do the, you know, inside outside thing where you feel like you're in a Mexican, square but actually you are inside an Epcot so you can totally lose yourself in here it's amazing and there's the tequila cave over here which looks kind of busy people are hitting the alcohol for so early in the day but you know they're on vacation so we won't judge I already had a mimosa about three hours ago so what can I say and I just love looking around all this stuff it's amazing again it would be so difficult to buy things like this and get it back to the UK, so I very rarely actually buy anything here, but it's still nice to browse. And San Angel Inn is as busy as ever. I absolutely love this restaurant. The atmosphere is amazing. As you can see, it is just so pretty. And I think that will be it for this episode of Vlogmas. I hope you guys are enjoying these and um, I'm gonna be going home today. So tomorrow it will be traveling probably, us just looking exhausted on a plane. So hopefully that will still be interesting. And then pretty soon we'll be in Vegas. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.